Thank you for taking a look at Standard Time. This is a very brief overview for new users from the perspective of a consultant billing time to clients. Of course, you can use Standard Time for a lot of other purposes. We have customers that use it for project tracking, manufacturing, government contracts, or just for employee time tracking. And what you're seeing here is the timesheet. There are six tabs along the top, and the timesheet is chosen. When you put your projects in, you will see them in this column and then you have your Monday through Sunday columns to enter hours against projects and tasks. Now one of the things you may find useful is to go to the file menu and choose project wizard. Now, I'm going to go through this wizard to add a new project and a new client so that I can enter some hours against those. So let's start with a project and then some tasks. Now all of these tasks are going to be billable to a client so I'll enter my client name here. So when I finish, you see that project show up in the timesheet. Now I can simply go to the cells and type some hours against those tasks. Now you may be wondering where these tasks landed after I created them. If you click on the Project Tasks tab, you will see them listed here. You can click on those and set the properties for each task. One of the reasons for this view is to allow you to compare your original estimates against actuals, see your percent complete. There are several other things you can do in this view. Now back to the timesheet, the entries we put in here are actually called time logs. And so if we click on the time log tab, you will see them listed here. So the time log and the time sheet are actually looking at the same data. And so when I open up one of these, you can set the properties for each time log and they will show up in the timesheet. Now if you collect expenses for your client, you can go ahead and click on the Expenses tab, go to the Insert menu, and choose New Expense. I'm going to put one in here, and choose the same project, which automatically chooses the client. Make a few other choices here, and you see the record very much like the time log. So if you're collecting both time and expenses for clients, you can click on the Billing tab, go to the Insert menu, and choose New Invoice and I'm going to choose the same client here, give it a date range, and it will find all of the time and expenses for that date range and client and give me a subtotal here. When I click Save and Close, it will create a Word document which I can save as a PDF and send out to the client. And of course, you can change this around because it's a simple Word document. You can put your company logo in, make other changes, and save this file. Of course, we can go back here to the timesheet, go to the Tools menu, choose Projects. You can click on a project and then set all of the properties for each project. Same thing with Clients. If I go to Tools, Clients, you can click on the client, set the properties, including the mailing and billing addresses that would be used on invoices, and then save those as well. Another thing you'll probably want to do is go over to the left-hand side, open up the Reports, and run reports to show your time and expenses. You can edit those reports to suit your needs or simply print them out or export those to Excel or Word. So that's a very brief overview of standard time. Hopefully it was useful. So if you have any questions, let us know.